Hey guys, you're here for another installment from Force 15. So this is update 21 on Hurricane Matthew as of 10.30 UTC on the 6th of October 2016. Storm's location at 24.2 degrees north, 77.1 degrees west, with winds of 125 miles per hour and a pressure of 944 millibars. Movement northwest at 12 miles an hour. Uh, so this update will be one with graphics. They'll be coming up in just a moment's time. Um, and uh, Hurricane Matthew is also now re-intensifying, uh, expected to go back up to a Category 4, possibly even by the next advisory at 1500 UTC tonight. Um, we are expecting the storm to intensify up to a Category um, 4 again. Uh, the intensity is still somewhat unclear. Hurricane warnings in effect now for most of the eastern coast of Florida, and also hurricane watches uh, stretch out into Georgia and also to South Carolina as well. Tropical storm watches and warnings also in effect in the Florida Keys, um, and uh, warnings still. Hurricane warnings also still in effect in the Bahamas as well, um, and tropical storm watches for the southern tip of Florida too. Um, so here you guys can see the um, uh, overview. Sorry. <laughs> of the Atlantic at the moment, and you can see there that uh, Hurricane Matthew located over the Bahamas at the moment, the cold off to sort of more towards um, Matthew's sort of east-northeast um, there as well, and also uh, New Invest approaching the Bahamas as well, I believe that'd be 99L. Um, and here you guys can see the forecast track for Hurricane Matthew, it's expected to skirt the coast, possibly just about making landfall on Florida. Uh, possibly within the Matt Jacksonville and Miami area, um, where it could still uh, could see a possibility of a Category 4 landfall. And I believe that if it does make landfall as a Category 4, this will be the first major hurricane landfall, I believe. It might even be since Hurricane Katrina um, in um, New Orleans. Uh, I think this will be the first major landfall on the uh, US states. Uh, here you guys can see there as well the Winfield uh, track. Um, Winfield and uh, warnings as well uh, that currently in effect. Uh, hurricane warning in effect uh, for pretty much all of the Bahama Islands. Um, uh, warnings in the southernmost islands should be discontinued soon. Um, but hurricane warnings I think may stretch up into Georgia in the coming days as well. Uh, here you guys can see the visible imagery. Uh, and from the looks of it at the moment, the centre of the storm is just located off the coast of the Big Island in the Bahamas. Um, and they are possibly near Nassau as well, uh, on the final approach to Nassau Island as well. Uh, here's a Dvorak imagery, and then you guys can see the uh, possibility there about Dvorak T5 maybe. Uh, the bad thing is uh, struggling a little bit, I believe because uh, wind shear is starting to come around the storm at the present time. Um, so we're just going to have to wait and see how this uh, scenario does play out uh, in the coming days. Um, here you guys can see the rainbow imagery. Cloud tops have been cooling, um, which is a uh, sign that the storm is intensifying, which it is, because uh, in the latest advisory uh, has now gone up to 125 miles an hour. Um, next up is the water vapor imagery. You see dry air in the Gulf of Mexico at the moment, and also towards uh, the storm's east at the moment in the open Atlantic. Uh, I do believe that dry air from the eastern side to the eastern side of the storm may be associated to hurricane uh, with tropical storm Nicole, uh, just under hurricane status. Uh, but now to go on to the sea surface temperatures. So here, you guys, can see the sea surface temperatures, and uh, you can see the, that uh, on this uh, graphics, uh, the uh, green is actually around about 28, 29 degrees Celsius. So sea surface temperatures are sustainable um, right up until landfall, um, and even though you see the sort of purple up there, that's still 26 degrees Celsius. Um, so that's on the threshold there. And now onto the wind shear maps, and here you guys can see there that. Uh, um, Hurricane Matthew is heading towards a uh, high vertical wind shear at the moment, though uh, it may, uh, it might sort of do what it's been doing before and sort of create a window. Uh, but we'll have to see how that does play out. Because uh, it is forecasted to intensify just before landfall in Florida, uh, possibly up to a category 4 hurricane. But we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. Now to go to reiterate the update. So this is 
is up date 21 on Hurricane Matthew as of 10.30 UTC on the 6th of October 2016. Storms location at 25.2 degrees north, 77.1 degrees west, with winds of 125 miles per hour and a pressure of 944 millibars. Movement northwest at 12 miles an hour. Now, thank you guys for watching. This is Sports with Dean signing off.